three, two, one, boom. And we are back with another episode of Socratic Gamers. This is uh, take two, as we kind of messed up on audio yesterday, but that's all good, you know? It just gave us time to, like, re-examine things, think of new topics. Not really topics, think of new, like, associated things to talk about with this one topic. Right. And, um, yeah, so we're just going to kick it off just like last time. Um, congratulations to the Raptors for winning the NBA Finals. Never thought that would ever happen in our lifetime. Mm-hmm. And uh, we hope that the four was it four people who got hurt, they got a shot or something. Uh, was it a shooting or stabbing? You said it was stabbing, right? There were two things that happened. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, hopefully those people are okay. It's quite sad that that happened, but mm-hmm. mob mentality. Or not even mom mentality. It's just like anonymity because you're in like a big crowd. Right. Yeah. Anyway, so we are, to preface this and kick this off, we're not actually basketball fans. Uh, we mentioned that last time. But uh, I think it's like important to state that not everyone is a Raptor fan. Well, a basketball fan. Basketball. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, I guess because we live here, I would say that like, that would be the team I'd be rooting for. Yeah. If I were to pick any team. Right. You know? Um, but yeah. So I I ended up watching the game. Not really for bandwagon reasons, just the fact that it was on. Like my <laughs> my family had it on. They're huge. Not really huge. Oh, all right. You know, I'm not even going to say they're huge. They're just like fans of the fact that Raptors made it to the end. Yeah. I mean, you so can, I guess get, like you can get excited about some things. But... Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. So. Um, but Vish, you didn't watch it. No, I kind of, like, I thought it was just going to be, an, oh, game six, they might win. Like, I kind of forgot that they were playing. So right, I, right. I, ended up co- I was cooking something, and then I realized, oh, yeah, the game. <laughs> yeah. And I caught a little bit of it at the end, yeah. Yeah, it, yeah. it's sort of like uh, when Conor McGregor fought. Well, every time he fights. Well, no, I'm, I'm a big fan of it, but, like, it's, like, it's just one of those spectacles that you just got to watch. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not yeah. so much anymore, because, like, Conor McGregor, he, like, kind of, like, fell off a bit. You're so awesome. I love you. <laughs> Just in case you one day hear this and you're like, you said I fell off, bro. You know, no, mm. no. You're still awesome. But, um, yeah, in the beginning, it was, like, the hype train was real. So. Right. So, like, I kind of felt like that's what this Raptors thing was like. It was, like, a monumental thing. I guess maybe not even just for Canadians, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. like the rap, like the Raptors when he was like, I feel like a lot of people were watching it because it was like such an underdog story. Like you never thought they would win against the Warriors. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, like that's m- true. most that's people, true. you know. What Actually, I'm saying? Like, yeah, I mean, like from the, I remember like throughout the series, they would uh, generally, the what do you call like those people that would pick like who they think would win oh betting or something yeah but they're not necessarily just in on like one of those on the tv at least right like okay yeah, yeah. oh like this guy says oh you know raptors will win or lose in like you know four games or th- six games or something like that right oh really eh? so they had so like this one guy had uh, raptors losing uh in the, in the, this is before the the final one right uh like not not against uh, golden state Okay. Uh, against Milwaukee, I think it was the series before this, uh-huh. and he said that Milwaukee would win, but then Raptors ended up winning. So he was wrong on that. Oh, and then in this yeah. one, uh, he chose he chose Raptors to beat um, Warriors. Yeah, Warriors. Oh, okay. So they were like, "Oh no, the, is this another curse? Like they're gonna oh lose. yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> like true. all those kind of things are added on, which is kind of especially in 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 sports. There's a uh-huh. lot of those like like curse thinking, right? Yeah, that's so true. You know what's funny about that? Like, my sister was like, she's like, oh, I didn't want to watch Game 5. No, she's like, <laughs> they're like, did you watch Game 5? And she's like, no. And then why not? Because in Game 4, I watched and, like, they lost. So I think I'm bad luck. And I'm like, what? <laughs> like, yeah, I, I said to her, I was like, yeah, you, you really influenced that team, bro. Right, right, right. You no, know? I mean, like, yeah, it was the same thing when, when I came, I think it was Game 5 I watched. Or 4, and then they they lost. Uh-huh. I was at my parents' house, and then my okay. brother's like, "You shouldn't come here to watch next time." Ah, uh, that's so funny. See what I'm saying? Like, it's so weird that. Like... <laughs> but as a joke, though, it was oh, more like okay, a joke. Okay. But to to use that same, it's the same kind of like you know using that mentality. Like that is pretty prevalent in sports. Like it makes sense. It makes sense for like you know like um, 
certain NBA players, they have like rituals. They they have like superstitions. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. It makes sense for them because I think what they're really tapping into is like a flow state. Right. They want to get their mind into like a specific like Mm, sphere. Right. But like in terms of externalities, like you are so far removed from having anything to do with the Raptors that like it's like you're not going to influence this decision at all. (laughs) Like it's all them, you know. Right. I find that I find that interesting. Like, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, one of the weirdest things too, like I know, we, I, so um, we talked about a few things. I'm gonna try and bring them up again, but like uh, burging, like basking in the reflected glory. Like, mm-hmm. it's interesting that that's another thing that people often do. Like, they'll have like superstitions. You know, they're they're like yeah. they feel like they're so connected to um, the winning and losing of this team that like. Yeah. Even things like burging is a great example of like their connectedness, you know. Like for, mm-hmm. first, they think that like, oh, my actions will actually like influence the team, right? They won't really. But then the next <laughs> thing is like when you're like, oh, we won, or like we did it. But it's like it's not like really a jo- we right, thing. Right, right. It's like an I. It's like a they thing, you know. Mm-hmm. It's funny because like uh, I even <laughs> I even like trolled Wob. So the biggest Raptors fan knows like Wob because he's. He's like been a Raptors fan since we were little kids. Even every year, he would always root for them. Yeah, you know, I kind of feel like anybody who rooted for another team is not really a Raptors fan, right? You know, you're you're not like a day one person. You're just like you're a hype trainer, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. So, um, so yeah, like, um, yeah. damn, I lost my train of thought there. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> was saying Raptors burging, burging. No. Oh yeah, 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 burging. So I tried to troll Wob. So yeah. I was like. Um, I was like, oh, congrats. I was like, watch, I watched the game and then I text him. I was like, congratulations, man. Like, <laughs> you did it. Right. And he's like, no, they did it. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, it's the Wob I know. Like, very like sentient over that kind of stuff. Mm. He didn't like, he didn't say we. Um, I don't think he said we. But yeah, he was just like, it was just funny to see. Like, but, you know, people would have quickly turned that into like an I thing, but it's really not an I thing. It's like a they thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. Like, speaking of which, um, the the celebrations, like, is a good segue into it, but, like, the mm-hmm. the association with how people celebrated that event was so, uh, I don't want to say, like, well, all right, so there's there's multiple, like, different segments of people who would have celebrated that. There's, uh, like I said last time, there's the... Um, there's the people that are just like interested in seeing what the celebration will be like. Right. There's true fans. There's people that are like hiding with anonymity. Okay. And then they're like bandwagoners. Yeah. You know, and it's just like it's interesting to see how, how like, people reacted as a whole mm-hmm. collectively. You know, it was like it's yeah. like a crowd mental mob mentality, for that one because like you saw on Instagram like it was just like nonstop like chaos Mm -hmm. you know even though the the police chief or whatever he was saying that like oh it was a great celebration there's no like there's no broken stuff or like stolen stuff but it's like no there was on social media they were like breaking cars and they were climbing onto stuff you know but it's like it was such like chimp ish you know Mm -hmm. like like right it was so like um it was almost it was almost like if there was like a zombie apocalypse that's what would have happened you know, say so like they would have just like went buck wild, right? You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, did you what? What did you think? Like, you sc- scouring through social media and stuff. Yeah, I mean, I thought it was. It's not something I would get into. Like, I don't know. I don't see the point of joining in on that kind of stuff. Yeah, but, right. But it's, like, it's, I guess. Uh, I mean, you know, when 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 you're in a crowd like that, it's like you you feel your um uh kind of like hidden kind of thing so you can right yeah, yeah, yeah. uh diffusion of responsibility anonymity yeah, yeah. you know so that, that's also what i felt too because it's like how many of those people were like true fans and right. how many of like like the segments you talked about right like there's like yeah. people that are looking for anonymity there are people that are curious mm-hmm. people that are like chaos you know it's like it's like where did you fall in the spectrum right and i thought that was a little like I guess maybe they're going off because like it's never happened before. Uh, you know? Probably, yeah. I mean, 
but there's always going to be people like uh, just disturbers just want to do stuff for the the jokers yeah. of the world yeah yeah true but like like you were saying you were saying how like uh, in vancouver when yeah, when yeah. the hockey team lost like we, people took the streets right. and they went crazy as well yeah i would think that was a bit more war- like more worse off because if we won it was a little bit better and i think also like we also had a less crowd in a sense be- right because right. the game was not here right right right, right. right. true yeah because yeah. that would have been the full stadium plus the people mm-hmm. in raptors yeah uh, jurassic park yeah true actually i didn't even think about that but like i i ultimately felt bad for the people that weren't raptors fans that they were just trying to go home you know, because it's like if you had like a, na- a night shift and then it's like, oh, man, I got to drudge through that. You know, people are going off. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean that's just how it is. I don't know what, what else can you do, I guess, about that. Yeah, true. true. I, what I think is like more funny about the whole thing is that um, like they they're just like props in the stage of selling. You know, of course, like, of course, like, yeah. I mean, the whole thing is... It, like, always comes down to, like, the sale. So even though it's like, yeah, we, like, associate so heavily yeah. with these teams and yeah. stuff, it's like, you know... Yeah. It, it's sort of like... I guess it would be akin to being, like, a part of, like, the army in, like, the 300 days. Mm-hmm. Even now, too. But, like, just being a part of something and it's like, oh, yeah, we're fighting for freedom. It's like, not really. You're fighting for commerce. Right. You know? It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Or, like, oh, like, our team won, but it's like... How many of you ran to the store afterwards and like bought something? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like even in doing that, it's like sometimes um, it's. I guess there is some pride and stuff in there, uh, and so like. In, yeah, but pride's a great selling mechanism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like. No, no, no. I mean like uh, yes. Now it has become very lucrative, very like money driven, right? Yeah. Uh, like. Uh, but it, like in in some ways, sports can also help a country out. In, oh yeah, 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 yeah. In in need sometimes, right? Right. Kind right, of bring right. attention to certain things and bring people together. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what's funny about that though? It all right. So interestingly enough, if you actually look in, so like a good example is like Brazil. Yeah. Right. So I I remember the example before was like um, Afghanistan had no team. Yeah, it was this guy. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so Afghanistan didn't have a team, but now they have a team. So that, that's great. A like, cricket yeah. team, yeah. <laughs> cricket team. <laughs> but, but like, it's sure on that level, it's like it's good. Yeah. But we don't actually know the ramifications because that's still just like the superficial level. So, so a good example is when uh, the Olympics went to Brazil. Mm-hmm. And then what brazil started to do is they started to kick out all the people and push them into the favelas yeah the up right yeah. and then you actually saw a lot of like hate for the olympics because it would actually create even more of a divide right because they're just pushing all those people out the poor people up into the favelas and they're mm. like dude what the hell like this is our land but it's like no we gotta get ready for the olympic games and then they leave and then it's like you're yeah. just kind of left with like yeah i mean those are some certain practices that are yeah of course that many people were had problems with than how they dealt with it, I guess. Yeah. It's almost like with uh, all Olympics too, though, because I remember in Athens, um, not even just in Athens, but in Vermont too. Vermont had the Olympics. Vermont, I mean, in the U.S. somewhere, like Atlanta. I think, was, I think no, no, no. Like it was Vermont. I'm pretty sure, like Winter Olympics, because I saw it, and I also saw the one in Athens too. But like these are just like empty stadiums now. It's like, well, what do we, what do we do with it? You know what I mean? Uh, like, they, like the one in China, how yeah. they were saying like they just like left it and it's like an artifact now and like it's like dilapidated. You kind of like go in and then you like mm. you convert things and then you just leave it. But it's like you don't think about the post ramifications of like. They, I think they do. It's just um, they just don't care. <laughs> no, no, no. I but maybe it just doesn't work out as what they hoped it was going to be. Oh, because there are because so there the are altruism was like oh yeah we're we're actually going to bring things together. No, I mean like the, we have one that's near near our place, the big where the what? big pool, the swimming pool that's there. Oh, in Morningside. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But it's then that being con- used. That right? converted. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Not converted. That was that's now being used for. Um, no, but it was like it was converted into like a gym, right? No, it was built. It got taken on by. No, no, yeah, it was built for the Olympics. Yeah. Though. Or it wasn't Olympic, but whatever it was, it was like one of those kinds of Olympic things, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Pan Am Games, I think. Pa- Pan Am Games, yeah. yeah. It, was, it was built for the Pan Am Games, and now it's like the Pan Am Center, and then like 
Um, yeah, but that's, that's technically what would generally happen with those sort of things. Like converted? Yeah, it would be then used for the general public, yeah. I guess. But those that's like a best case scenario, you know? No, like, but I, then there's also the worst case scenario. Yeah, of course, yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. You're like, maybe it will drive commerce after the fact. Cause yeah, we'll have yeah. Built this. Yeah. True. Actually, you know, like, that's one of the big benefits of sports is, like, it's a great way to generate economic activity. Mm-hmm. You know, because, oh, yeah. like, like, think about the all of the subsidiary products that are associated <laughs> with sports. It's like, yeah, we're looking at it like a basketball game, but it's like, yeah, but you got jerseys you could sell, you got yeah. basketball game, uh, basketball um, balls you can sell, hoops now. Everyone wants to, like, start getting into basketball again. You know, coaches yeah, it does, it does have, bring that. You know, uh, it's, like, yeah. Yeah. It, it's sort of like a way to, like, herd the masses again, mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. know? And, like, but basketball was, like, you know that there was something, it was, like, in Mexico or something? It was something similar to basketball, but they would, like, they throw it through the hoop, but it dealt with, like, death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, you know they saying? had the Mayans were doing that? Yeah. Yeah, it was the Mayans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, this is, like, not new to I've us. I've been to those kind of, I've been to that. Oh, you saw it? You saw the I thing. saw the arena. Yeah, yeah so... So, like, yeah. these kinds of things are, like, not new to our species. Yeah, exactly. You know, but especially when I went to Rome and I saw, like, the Colosseum. That was <laughs> that's so the, interesting. Yeah, that's the epitome of it all, right? It, totally. Yeah. And it was, like, so fascinating because, like, when you went to, like, uh, old Rome. Like, so there's, like, new Rome. Yeah. And then there's, like, the, the I forgot what it was called. It was, like, ah, uh, it was, like, I forget what it was called. But it was, like, the downtown core of Rome before. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, like, it was right next to the the Coliseum. So mm-hmm. like that place was like for merchants and like um businesses and stuff. Yeah. And then it was like the downtown core. Think of it like the downtown right. core. And then at the end when an event was coming, they would just like have everyone walk over to the event and they'd all like watch. And right. Tickets were free. Mm. You know? And it was interesting because it's like when I saw that it made me think of like Toronto and how we have the Sky Dome, which is basically the Coliseum. Yeah, yeah. And then people live around there. Mm-hmm. You know, it's in the downtown hub and then people just walk to the games and then it's like we're just reliving the same human tendencies as before. Yeah. You know? That's true. I mean, yeah, we keep repeating the same thing, basically. Yeah, there's nothing there's nothing new under the sun. It's just like re repackaged and repurposed. Yeah. You know? Oh, which true. which is like I mean, interesting so the thing that like i'm always like pessimistic but also optimistic mm-hmm. you know like my pessimist my pessimism side comes out where it's like well it's just a great way to control the masses and like sell products and like get the rich richer and the poor like not sure what's going on okay you know the uneducated is not there's me on the superficial level okay. but then like on the positive side it's like okay like maybe they are just like bringing people together and like togetherness and like you know what I mean? it's sort of like star wars where yeah. like they the force is just there mm-hmm. but like you have the good jet like the the jedi and the sith right so it's like perception is always there but it's like how do you want to hijack perception do you mm-hmm. want to hijack mm-hmm. it for like altruism or like greed right you know yeah because like um what's his name um not constantine julius caesar yeah um, give them bread and games and they won't revolt. So right. That's what did. Give them, like, free food and, like, free tickets. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is not free food, though. Here. It's not free food or free tickets. Yeah. But, I mean, like, it's, it's like, similar idea. It's a similar know? idea, but I think there must be something in it that, you know, that uh, wants all of us, like, many of us to be part of that or keep going to these sort of things, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure, yeah. Something in us that we like these kinds of games. Collectivism. Or... We're like a collective species. Yeah. So we feel like we need to... I guess that's like at the basis of all purging anyway. Uh, anyways. Because mm-hmm. it's like... It's like in saying we, it's like you feel part of something. So if you feel alienated in your regular life, like yeah. you can at least associate with something. Like, like, if you, like, let's say you have no friends. Mm-hmm. Buy a Raptors jersey, walk down the street, people are going to high-five you. Yeah. You know? So it's like... It's a quick way to like gain some sort of acceptance right you know but what i also find fascinating is like the similarities and the parallels between like what's happening in hong kong and like them fighting for their their freedom Mm -hmm. and like our happiness towards the game like the same chaos is manifesting right you know i mean like people are taking to the streets but like 
it, it almost says like as a species either as a species or as like west versus east mm-hmm. but like we care just as much as we do about entertainment right. as we do about like civil liberties yeah you know right. it's kind of weird i mean it's... or or alternately it's like the west cares more about entertainment than civil liberties because like we win a basketball game we're all taking the streets but we get messed up on like our rights and like nobody cares. Mm, I mean, there are. S- but like, what? Why have you seen people take the streets as much as the Raptors winning? When they're protesting, there yeah. has been. As much as the Raptors winning, like fully. Yeah, I think there are more protests than uh, in Canada. I mean, yeah, really, yeah. Like, like name one. But it's not going to get covered though. A lot of the time, a lot of things don't get covered. I, I don't think I don't... it's like that's more like an American thing, you know, like uh, when they had. Uh, Occupy Wall Street they just stopped covering it and then people forgot about it but people were still at the Occupy Wall Street yeah. but I don't think in like I think that's that's more of a American tactic than a Canadian tactic no I'm saying that there are people that do it on certain uh, certain things you just gotta keep looking at the news you'll see it true true I guess but like in relation to like how Hong Kong reacted Towards their civil liberties. Yeah. So one, I think, I think if there's anything that significant, it would cause that here too. Maybe. Maybe. I think so. I think so. Like, if it actually does affect people, yeah. Like, it depends on what it is. I don't know what it. It has to be specific to whatever the topic is. I guess. Yeah. Right. Or, or, it could just be east versus west mindset. You know. Like, what do you mean? Because, all right, so like when they're, I remember when the flooding happened and then they were showing like the parallels between um, a place in New New Orleans and there was like all that robbing and stuff. Mm-hmm. And then you look at like Japan when the earthquake happened, they were like in a lineup waiting for their, right, their yeah. meal, you know, and there was mm-hmm. like just a great parallel between like East versus West mentality. Yeah, but I mean, I, I would say more, that's just more Japan than most countries true so you're saying that like if you go to other asian countries they might have yeah, they could yeah why not maybe i get, but again there's no example this yeah that's the, what i'm saying this was the, no i right but you but, can't say it's all of east uh, from one example that's what I'm right saying. but but like what it's like you're taking two salient examples from both sides it's like it happened two catastrophes happened yeah. one in east one in west and it's like these are the examples we're given. So sure, you could not have it that way, but it's like, given the data that we have at our hand, this is what it's making itself out to be. Well, we don't have enough data. True. <laughs> so you're saying we should do like um, a like unbreakable kind of thing and like start like some chaos? Yeah. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> not really. You heard, not. It here, you, heard it, you heard it here first, folks. Um. No, but, like, you ever see that movie? Which when one? he was, like, looking for the unbreakable dude, so he started, like, creating Oh, right, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. True. Well, I'm not saying that, but... <laughs> well, well, and speaking of, like, commerce, one of the more interesting things that I found was, like, Drake's OVO Oh, did you symbol. listen to it? No, I didn't listen to it. <laughs> no. See, it's like because I'm not into it. Like, yeah, if, me too, if it me was too, like, too. if it was like, I'm oh, really Drake's new it. single is out, I'd be like, all right, that's cool. But it's like, oh, he dropped this because the rappers won. I'm like, ah. Eh. Mm. If it's like, if it has an agenda, I'm not really into it. Right. But if it's just like a dope song, it's like, yeah, I'll check that dope song out. I mean, it's a mm-hmm. history in the making too. I guess so. People want to be part of that. That's why they went to the parade and things. So. For sure. Well, one thing that I found like interesting was like if you look at the Raptors training facility, like the OVO symbols outside. Okay. And I'm like, that's the most genius branding ever. Yeah. You know, you could take apart you could take part of both um audiences at that point. Mm. You get like the non Raptors fans but are like Drake fans. And yeah, that's true, like, that's true. You know, and then yeah. you have like the the non Drake fans, <laughs> but the Raptors fans. And they're like, right. yeah, they're like associated. Right. Right. You know. I mean it, it's yeah, it was a great move on both, I guess. So and one interesting thing about, like, symbols versus, like, an artist. So if you had, like, Drake's face on there, you have more of a chance mm. that, like, people will, like, 
hate on it, but because it's like an idea, like it's the OVO symbol, it's like more people can be a part of it. Right. Like, you know what I mean? Because like if, if you're looking at the artists themselves, it's like, oh, I just don't like their music. But if it's like OVO, it's like, well, I'll rock that little symbol on my clothes. Because mm. you know what I mean? It's like, it's more innocuous. Like branding, right? brand logos have like less, um, they're more like neutral, mm-hmm. you know? So I, th- I just think it was a genius, like strategic marketing move on his part. Yeah. yeah. You know? I mean. Going from like, like Degrassi rapping <laughs> on his own, getting signed with Lil Wayne, creating his own clothing line, making that clothing line huge by like linking it to the Raptors. Cause I think like some Raptors apparel has the OVO symbol. I saw like those like champion hats. Oh yeah. Yeah. It has like the OVO symbol. So maybe symbol like he, they made like a, like a, also like a, like a deal of who would make those things too. So it's like they're using his. Yeah, totally. Yeah. And, and, Funny enough is, like, if you were on those, like, backroom deals, Mm -hmm. not that we're part of them, but, like, if you just, if you've been a part of any business, like, discussion, it's always about, like, like, how do we maximize this? Mm -hmm. So it's, like, we'll put your logo on the outside as long as you can provide, like, a significant return. Right. You know? Yeah. But, like, on the superficial level, you're looking at it, you're, like, oh, he's such a huge, like, Raptors fan. It's, like, no, this is actually a strategic move on both our parts. Yeah. You know? Yeah. True. I guess I don't know what else to say to that, but other than the fact that that happens a lot, yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, totally. Just gotta be be aware of that, I guess. Or, or I mean, but like again, it's like why it's like does that. everyone need to get? That's what I was thinking. That? Yeah, it, it's that uh, why? it's that Zen line that I read from that book, uh, the full three pillars of Zen or four pillars of Zen, mm-hmm. something like that. Um, it's like. The the most deluded person is the bodhisattva, because okay. true saving is realizing no one needs to be saved. Mm-hmm. But the bodhisattva's whole mission is like prove to everyone that they can be saved. Right. You know. But it's like no, the the most deluded because like who needs saving? It's mm-hmm. like you're either gonna save yourself or you're not. You know. Okay. The tools are there, but yeah. it's like it's like in that it's like what level are you at? Mm. on the pole of knowledge so it's like <laughs> do you want to take it superficially and be like oh cool like raptors and ovo right or like look more into it and like realize that it's all a cell i mean yeah i mean but then it's like it's it's that and you're enjoying the game i guess i mean no right totally totally it's all that right it's oh, all part of i see it. what you're saying it's like oh i see what you're saying it's not like it's all part and parcel. Yeah. It's not like individual, but I guess, but does that, does that jade your experience knowing that it's a cell? I don't think it should and would. I mean, you're enjoying the game too, right? You don't have to buy those things. But a lot of people do. Yeah. So that those are the ones who want to buy those things, right? Yeah, you have true. the choice to buy those things or not to buy those things. True. Yeah. But then the people that don't know that it's a cell... And right. they're just being like unwittingly herded into like the purchasing machine. But that's them making a choice of buying purchasing something. No, no, but unwittingly, I mean, so it's like they don't actually know it's a sell. They're just being herded. They're like purchasing it. Right. Because it's like, oh, we we struck gold, we like hijacked your human reward system and like your burgingness and like mm-hmm. now you're gonna buy like twenty of our jerseys, you know. I almost feel like education, like, would we have a better world if we, like, educated everyone on, like, the perils of marketing? I I don't know. Or we just have more, like, a a freaking difficult world with horrible economics. Because we're like, oh, damn, I can't sell anything out here. You know what (laughs) I mean? Like, if you, you, like, understood. I don't know. I mean, that's just how I, I always assume that's how people always thought. Because this is how I grew up thinking. But see, that's the funny part. It's like, but you, I guess you're I like, was wrong. You, yeah, exactly, exactly. You're like, oh, I grew up thinking this way. Like, the reason why I'm so obsessed with marketing is like, marketing is because mm-hmm. I'm so like, susceptible to marketing. Right. I I'm like a sucker for anything that's really cool marketing. Like, I just want to give your, my money to it. <laughs> you know, like I bought that uh, sixty dollar red bracelet because it's like Leonardo DiCaprio wore this. I'm like, what? <laughs> but I knew it was marketing. Like, this was like two years ago or something. 
or a year ago. Right. And yeah. bought it anyways because I was like, that's genius, the fact that you guys did it. So, yeah, I mean, I don't see the issue if people want to do that. Or, if, you know, you might still get some enjoyment out of it, even if you're buying it and you're, you think that, oh, yeah, you, you know, I don't know. It, it could still affect you positively, I guess. Yeah, true. Like, I mean, that's why I bought it. I was like, yeah. man, I look at him like, I got conned into this. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't know about the what the perils of marketing. That <laughs> I should not know. No, no, I'm just saying in general. Then you'd know, like, oh, you got. No, I did know I got conned, and I appreciate that's what I'm the saying. fact that I got conned. I was like, I really like. Well, but you really you, like it. But you're into the the whole. You like the marketing thing, right? Yeah, sure, sure. So sure. maybe it, people don't need to know. Oh, I see. but then then it goes back to like the unwitting, unwitting consumer. Yeah, yeah but there might be they still might be happy at the end. So then it's all about herding cats. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's yeah, like I bread know. and games, man. Like yeah. Caesar was right. Just give them bread and games. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I mean, like, we are just a species. So yeah. it's like, I mean, it works on it works on it works on everyone. It doesn't matter if you're rich or poor. True. Yeah. But yeah, true, true, true. I, I totally agree with you. It's like, what marketing are you going to fall for? Yeah. Yeah. You know I mean, like, there's there's a reason why I'm obsessed with Apple. As you are too, it's like yeah. because we fell for the marketing, and then people are like obsessed with their, you know, Samsungs. Yeah, but because yeah. it's because like they sold a better story. Yeah. You know, at, at the end of the day, it's like what story? Like life is a story you want to tell yourself. Mm. So it's like what story are you going to buy into? Right. And then, not only are you going to buy into it, you're going to buy into it with your dollars. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. Sure. It's like um, uh, I've like. It's sort of like, um, like, well, there's like millions of things that we all do that like we purchase to be like associated with something mm-hmm. like jerseys is a good example, but like, I don't know. Can you think of something where like people buy it solely? Oh, beats, beats, headphones, all headphones are the same. Yeah. Essentially. Well, uh, come on. I mean, like real, like, I mean, there are, there's like minor differences. No, I, I mean, I don't know. If that, that's the to... thing. That's the thing I love about fashion. If, like, if you're if, in that in that field of uh, headphones, yeah, there are minor differences, but there are like really really good headphones that are m- much more expensive than. For sure. What no, they are. I that, agree that's with what you. I'm saying. I agree with you. Yeah. Yes, there are. But in that field of sound with Beats and other things, they're all very much the same. Exactly, yeah. and and that's one of the things that like I love, I love. Like examine, I always say this in interviews whenever I go for like a job interview, mm-hmm. which hasn't been that many, but I always say this. It's like um, the fashion industry is the industry I look to the most because it's in terms of like learning how to market because yeah. it's so volatile. You have right. to sell a really good story, you know, because at the end of the day, mm. you're just selling fabric. Yeah, your T-shirt like Supreme. You're you're selling a shirt with Supreme <laughs> on it, and it's going for two hundred dollars. Yeah, uh, I think it was like. Kanye West's white t-shirt. Yeah. He has this brand. It's like white t-shirt. It's like $200. I'm like, bro, it's, nobody knows. Mm. Nobody knows. <laughs> right, right. You know? And it's like, you got to be the best marketer if you're going to sell, like, clothes. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's true. Like, I guess, like, what they say, like, commodities is very, very difficult to market. Like, Colgate versus Crest. Mm-hmm. But that's, like, I don't feel like... Because, like, you're, you're in similar prices... Colgate and Crest, it's all about brand loyalty at that point. At that point, yeah. But but if you're looking at clothing, if you're looking at like Supreme versus like I mean, these are symbols that make like, It's the stories. It's the story yeah, and then what you like it what represents you, right? It's like that's a bit totally. different than, than those kinds of products. Like yeah, toothbrushes. A different kind of product. That doesn't represent you or anything yeah, like that. Because right? you're you're just using it for use's sake like yeah. i need to brush my teeth so i'm just gonna go with this yeah. oh it's got like a check mark and all de- dentists recommend it right you know so yeah. it's like but i mean even with toothpaste like i use it for utility i always get sensodyne because it makes your teeth feel like not i got sensitive teeth so yeah yeah you know it's so like i mean like, there are yeah i guess so. of like it products depends. right As a, yeah uh, products that have like a, a strong story and identity attached towards mm, it right. maybe that's the thing it's like sports teams are just like clothing it's like, how are you going to identify with it? Because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, what's it? That is actually it. We cracked the code in this podcast way better than the first one, just for this one alone. Sports teams are exactly like clothing. 
Okay. You got one team putting the ball into a hoop. Okay. Both teams are trying to do it. Which one are you going to self-identify with? Yeah. And that's why Burging is so strong. Yeah. Because, like, you built up a story in your own head that you were a part of this thing, just Mm. like you were a part of, you know, Supreme or a part of, like, Kanye West's Yeezys, you know? Like, at the end of the day, day, unless there's, like, a medicinal use, like, shoes are shoes are shoes. Mm Mm-hmm. Just, like, putting a ball in a hoop is putting a ball in a hoop a thousand times over. But it's like, what story did we capitalize on in order to make you affiliate yourself with our product or team? Mm. Or, well, a team is a product, so, yeah. Yeah. Damn, that was a good one. <laughs> okay. I like that. That is actually it. No, like, really think about it. Like, Because I was like, oh, well, why do people self-identify so hard? It's like, yeah, because you put your entire belief system, your whole so like self-narrative into this one thing, mm-hmm. you know? that anybody can get behind if like let's say like buying a it's like those mega hats yeah you know like make america great i want to get one again yeah. but it's like you you have camps you know yeah, 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 yeah. You, you're doing like you're doing like for lack of a better word team sports you know in group out group mentality that's all it is mm-hmm. you either purchased some beats or you didn't <laughs> right you either have a samsung or an iphone right you're either raptors fan or warriors fan Okay. Which one are you? Yeah. Team sports, bro. Mm. Right? But at the end of the day, it's like human human race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? At the end of the day, it's all the same. So, all right. Our, that was a great one to end on. But I just want to throw these two things out there because you didn't hear them yet. And I just want to get your input because okay. I think they're so funny. Okay. So, one, the Raptors each got the key to the city. Okay. Okay. So, I asked my sister, I'm like, all right, what is the purpose of that? Mm-hmm. And she's like, well, well, they could just open any business. They could just go into any business they want. I'm like, so you're telling me after hours they could just go into any business that they want? No, that's symbolic. Like getting the key to the city really grants you nothing. No, it's just symbol. Yeah. Yeah. Symbolic. What does it grant you? Nothing. You know, all access pass into things that we would have not known about anyways because you guys are rich. So I'm sure, you know, you could have just bought your way in. Mm-hmm. Like, what is what does the key to city really, really do, other right. than symbolism? Right. But I re- and she's okay. like, it can unlock anything in the city. I'm like, that's not that's not really how it works. Like, you think that there's one key to the city that can unlock every single key? No, I don't think so. I think it's just uh, it's I always viewed it as symbol symbology. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, what if you're not a and, Raptors and, fan? Or and you and uh, no, 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 symbology and a photo op. That's what that is. Totally in marketing, it's all about the sale. And yeah. then the or oh, so like, um, there's this funny story of like. Um, mm-hmm. uh, um, there's like this shop that's downtown and then like one of the Raptors came in and like um, they bought something but like right. none of the shop owners knew who this person was until after and okay. I'm like oh that was that was actually a Raptor they're like what? it's like oh now I, all of a sudden I want to get an autograph from them right right but it's like you had no idea who they were in the beginning right so yeah. it's like dude they're just a person it's sort of like when we went to I always been this up but whenever we went to Warp Tour and we just talked to the people like they were people it's like oh what's it like playing in a band and driving around in your car yeah I never understood that you uh, know, it's like all of a sudden I heard that you're celebrities so and I want your photo <laughs> like, right I never... we, oh, great example we went to Graham Hancock remember they were taking photos and signing things yeah, yeah. and then we, we waited in line we're like oh maybe we should buy maybe we should sign something maybe we should like you know do this thing and then like we got the photo simply because, like, it was awkward because the guy who was taking the photo, he's like, he's like, you guys want a photo, right? We're like, oh, right, uh, right, yeah. Right. <laughs> but, like, we just walked up, handshake, like, you're awesome, bro. And he was like, thanks, man. You know? Mm-hmm. So, like, I never understood that. It's just people. Right. Yeah. I, I like to think of it like, like, especially getting older now that we're, like, 30, mm-hmm. we're in our 30s. It's like, they're all just kids. Like, like Kendrick Lamar is one year older than me. ASAP oh. Rocky is my age. Right. Crone Gracie's my age. Mm-hmm. Like all these like s- quote celebrities unquote, they're all like around my age now and your age too. So it's sort of like we all had the same opportunity. So it's like, why are you special? Mm-hmm. We we were both in kindergarten at the same time. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? That's how I look at it. Yeah, but yeah. when you were a kid, you're like, oh man. Actually, what was that? Uh, you have that Tom DeLonge story. This is when you realized it was marketing. I don't remember. We went to go see a- uh, a- Ava, Angels and Airwaves. Uh-huh. Oh, right, right, And then right, I was right. like, I was such a huge fan. It's like, oh, my God, it's Tom DeLonge. Oh, my God, he takes the photos. 
Right, right. Yeah, so the thing like, that I but noticed, I was a kid, though, right, so. right. But that was the one thing I noticed right away. I don't know why. I was just, I guess, more. I don't know what do you call it, observative. Mm-hmm. But like, as soon as after the interview, people were like so hyped and they just wanted to go buy their CD. It's the same thing that just happened with the rappers. Yeah, I'm like, which is on a mass scale. I know, but I, I saw that. I'm like, oh, that's how that works. <laughs> that's yeah, what I thought right? I meant. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. To, and, and like to <laughs> us, to him, we were just like props in yeah. the play of marketing. It's like when we went to UFC and we were like, oh, there's no glitz and glamour here. We're literally just yeah. props. Well, I mean, TV. I don't even think that they knew. It's just more like they're... Oh, you don't even think Tom DeLong knew? No, no, no. I mean, like, they don't know exactly how it works. It's it's the team behind them that's oh, telling exactly. them... Oh, exactly. It's yeah, the business they, people. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 And then they're just like, okay, I'll do this photo op here. I'll just go to the show here. But it's like, no, like, we're actually hurting you. It's sort of like the Black Mirror episode where his, like, her mom right. or her aunt her was aunt. like... You know, using her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, true. Yeah, like, it's totally what it is. See, see what I'm saying? Like superficial level. Like I got caught up in it. Mm. You know, I, I like. Yeah. Right. It's just fascinating to think about. It. It's like, which level do you want to be on? I'm sure <laughs> if you told me this before. Well, you might. Well, but then this the thing about like, the whole thing about the bodhisattva and like, yeah. you know, who's gonna be saved? Like nobody actually needs saving. Because if you had told me that at the time, I wouldn't have resisted. I would have been like, oh, true. I just didn't think about it. I didn't think it was a bad thing. No, 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 no. But right. like you know, like some people will like listen to this podcast and they'll be like, no, you're so like negative. Right, but it's right. like no, it's just like the I cell. Mean, I, it's just the cell. I mean, bro. I think like, I guess it only happened because I wasn't necessarily a fan. Totally, I, I was exactly. Just observing. But but what I'm what I'm getting at is like, yeah, uh, the whole thing about like should people know about this stuff. But it's like, you know, if you want to know, you'll know. The information's out there. Yeah, like that's true. But if, you, like, when you hear it, it's like, how are you going to take it? Mm. You know? Like, yeah. the truth is always salty. Right. But it's like, do you like salt or not? Mm. You know? And luckily enough, we both got high blood pressure, so. <laughs> <laughs> Getting sodium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, anyways, yeah. the second thing yeah. is um, June 17th is officially We the North Day. Okay. Did you see that? I don't, I don't know what that means. But, uh, no, I, I don't know if we get a day off. But I don't, no, it's not. We don't? Oh, it's no, not it's a, not a... It's not like family day? When they threw that in there, we're like, family day? What the, all right, I'll take a day off, whatever. Yeah, I wanted more of those, but this is not that. It's yeah. funny because like, I, didn't, I didn't have like a nine to five before, so I was kind of like, it's basically my regular day. Right, <laughs> like, right, right, what, right. What, do it all a day, you know? But yeah, so I thought that was kind of cool. Mm-hmm cool or like but it's like what is that really going to affect me am i, I mean it's off? really not going to affect any of us except that we're just going to it's just post on social uh, media uh, yeah it's, yep it's like oh a year ago today <laughs> 20 years ago today oh that's the thing we were saying on the last oh, podcast right. that was very interesting it's like where do you go from here just down you know yeah and then, per- perpetually you could either keep going upward it's like <laughs> how many rings do you want bro right right, right. you know it's and what was that years. thing that wob said he's like He's like, oh, it's done now. Well, for him, yeah. So that that's the thing. It's like, good. You've realized it. We can move on. Mm. You know? Yeah. It's, so, it's sort of like when I traveled for that five months. It's like, I don't need to do that again. I already did it. Mm. You know? It's like, oh, but you could travel for a year. You could backpack for a year. It's like, okay, what's the difference between a year <laughs> and five months, bro? It's like, you're still just on the road for a long time. Right, right, you right, know? right, right. Yeah. But people just keep wanting more and more, you know? that's basically industry like we were saying like um netflix makes what two million a year uh, a month sorry no we're assuming 20 that. million a month probably more but yeah no like yeah probably more we're assuming it but like there's a conservative estimate yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. super conservative i would say but yeah super conservative so yeah. it's like okay like how much more do you need all right let's create like a whole like i feel like these companies are just going to rule the world they're just going to have an um an oligopoly mm-hmm. so like there's monopolies where it's okay. like you 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 own like a major market share right yeah so like monopolies are illegal yeah right then that's why governments come and they break things up mm-hmm. but then you have like a oligopoly which is like there is no competitors you own the entire market yeah i remember when i heard that in school i was like one that's a really intense name and two <laughs> um it's like businesses can do that they can own an entire market share of or something yeah i mean you know what i'm saying if it's never been done before it's possible yeah 
I think it has been done, but there's just like no, no, no. I mean, what I meant, like, 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 if it's a category that nobody's been in. Oh, I see what you're saying, but I, I feel like these companies are just gonna push to that level. It's like, who's gonna compete with Netflix? Like, what? There's a lot. I, I would think they might actually have some real competition. Oh, really? Year. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're saying like the Disney Channel or something. I mean, there are there are other, like there's already Prime is out there, and then yeah, there's, there's other there's ones. Alternatives, but, but they're not like, as big. But like where I can see a potential like actual competition, possibly Apple TV Plus, and I would think Disney Plus because now Disney's removing all the stuff that's on Netflix because Netflix makes a ton of money because uh, of the kids channel. Oh, okay, I got and you. a lot of the Disney stuff is going away. All right, well. Okay, so so now we so, might get some real competition. Here. Okay, so I take that back. I think you're gonna have like <laughs> like four major companies that run everything, and they're just going to com- compete. Right. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Until one of them buys out the other one. So like. Um, but then that's where didn't Coke buy Pepsi? Yes. Like Coke bought Pepsi, right? Yes. Yeah. So or was it the other way around? I don't remember. So one of those. So yeah. for the longest time, it was like Coke versus Pepsi. Yeah. You know, and now it's like, well, Coke owns Pepsi. I feel like that's where it's gonna head, and then. We have these like, mm-hmm. um, I mean, Coke owns a lot of things, or like they own a lot of the brands that are out there, like a lot of the the, the, the pops that you drink are Ex- no, owned no, no, by them. totally, totally, totally. So that that's so on the consumer level, the superficial level, like the end user level, you have mm-hmm. like twenty options, right? And yeah. then um, I think it's called product offering, but it's like you have one main company that creates all these diversified products, and then like. A good, good example. We went to Metro and uh, Tara bought Perrier, and she's like, "Wait, this is a Coke thing." Yeah. We, were, we were buying it for some like something. Just okay. disregard that. <laughs> okay. No, no, he drinks Perrier. Like, come on, let's get real. But yeah, yeah I traced them. I don't. It's know. gross, right? I like him, yeah. but it was like a mixing ingredient. Anyways, okay. But it's like if you look on the back, oh, it's Nestle. You look on the back, it's like, oh, it's owned by Nestle. Yeah, and it's like. I thought Perrier was no, but that's on the superficial level. That's their product service offering. Yeah, you know, but like, that's see, that's what I mean. I think that's what we're gonna get in the future yeah. with these digital companies. Yeah, yeah, right. Like the the market's already been saturated for like, like, con, uh, not consumer, but like, like commodities products, mm-hmm. like Colgate. Like all the stuff that you see on the shelves. Yeah, I don't know how you can change that one. But no, you can't change yeah, that you one. Can't, it's you like can't, longevity. Yeah. It's like you have the major players like Nestle, yeah. Coke, Pepsi. Mm-hmm. They're all there. But the digital sphere, it's still being built. So I feel like the Nestle, the Coke, and the Pepsi are going to be like Amazon, mm-hmm. YouTube, Google. Didn't right. Google purchase YouTube? Yeah. Yeah, they own YouTube. Yeah. So Amazon, Google, Netflix, you're going to have these like giant organizations with like subsidiary products mm-hmm. and then if you trace it all the way back you're gonna be like oh it's actually owned by this one corporation mm-hmm. you know yeah yeah anyways i don't know i don't know where i went i was like <laughs> why did we start talking about business i don't know but anyways go raptors hope you guys win the next 25 years <laughs> yeah. yeah consecutively yeah hashtag we the north yeah, we the North thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean that Martin was a great thing that they, take, yeah, they yeah. took from um, Game yeah. of Thrones. You know, you know what wow. I was thinking. I thought from the last episode, people would be like, "Ew, I don't want to associate with We the North anymore." Right. I yeah. really thought that was going to take a no, but there was a lot of that. Sales. There was a lot of that, or like, like this is what like they're representing Kawaii as John, and he's like, "This is how it should have ended." Funny, funny, <laughs> funny. Yeah. So. Yeah. See, you could, there, there you go. Yeah. Marketing again. Yeah. That's that great. was free though. I, like that was a free thing that they figured out to use and basically take that but, idea. Yeah, because you can't. Game it's it's you can copyright only in a specific. No, stream. no, no. I know, I know. So I know. it's like a different industry, so you could steal yeah. it. Yeah. You know, but I I think that's again as a great marketing for the great. Raptors. It maybe great. maybe the real genius here isn't. I mean, I liked that a lot when when they were saying that. I was like, oh, that makes a lot of sense in their to- marketing. Totally. Yeah. I, I think the real genius here isn't really like the team or like. Mm -hmm. all these other things remember like oh ovo made a great choice and like i think the real genius here is the marketer for the raptors who decided let's team up with drake because he put toronto on the map and let's take advantage of game of thrones and we're going to do we the north yeah right yeah so kudos to you marketer you are a genius and (laughs) if we ever figure out your name but if you're like a true marketer you want to remain you know 
secretive. Yeah. Well, it's a team of there. people. So, kudos to the team. Yeah. You guys are awesome. All right. Till next week. Surprisingly, surprisingly, I felt this was more like hard hitting. I wouldn't say negative, but like more truth driven. Very salty. This one, <laughs> as opposed to our last one. Our last one that didn't get captured was yeah. very like optimistic. And I was like, oh man, that was such a good one. How are we going to get that back? But I feel like this it turned like, out a different way. It turned in a different direction, but I feel like this still, one was better because yeah. I figured out something marketing wise on the podcast. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. See, like, all right, we're going to end it now, sure. But I just want to say that it's like interesting because, like, that was a genuine realization right. on the podcast. Mm-hmm. Like, when I, when I thought of it, I was like, oh, that's actually what's going on. But it's like, because then you, now I'm just going to like tell somebody that. And they're gonna be like, wow, how did you think of that? I'm like, because I just thought of it. You know what I mean? Like, people just don't think now. It's like, what are you spending your, like, days doing? Right. You know, we're over here, like, deconstructing things on the podcast, whereas, like, other people are, like, watching something on Netflix. I mean, I do that, too. You do. You do do that, too. But I'm obsessively obsessed with learning things, so. Uh, I mean, I, you know, it's a short life. I want to be entertained. Or do studies entertain me? Maybe. So... We're no, doing it's, the it's, it's the pursuit of truth. That's what I like. That's why it's oh. like, okay. like, I want to die with high blood pressure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. All right. Take it easy. Till yes. next time. Peace. Bye. Bye.